What's up, everyone? Casual talk here. Today, I'm going to be talking about my experience driving for Uber Eats and the pros and cons. This is based off my experience and my observation and me <clears throat> driving and delivering people's orders and their meals. Okay? Now, Uber Eats has been around for a long time. And the fact that I'm starting off the conversation like this is because one of the bad things about driving for Uber Eats is the competition, especially if you are living in a major city. You're not the only one delivering for Uber Eats. It's either first come, first serve. And many people tend not to pick up an order for a customer because of the distance okay i've done my research when i first applied to be a uber eats delivery driver um it was it was easy one two three um i had to go through a application process uh, it took time for me to get approved. Um, I went through the necessary steps that I needed to take in order to get by. You need to have a valid driver's license. Um, you need to take a selfie to verify that you're the actual person in the, in, on the driver's license. Uh, another thing that they need to verify is your social, your information, etc., and so on. Okay. Another thing that you have to look out for is your time and the best times to be able to go out for to deliver and uh, by picking up customers orders from the restaurant orders the the, um, the fast food joint, whatever you want to call it. Right. And the time that it takes for you to travel from that restaurant to the customer's house, okay? My experience driving for Uber Eats already has been a good experience. Have Did I have bad experiences? Yes, I have. And it was also based off my mistakes, which I'm gonna also get to in the video. The cons for Uber Eats is the time that it takes for you to deliver, for not even to deliver, but for you to wait on certain orders because there is occasions and days, especially during the week, right? That it may be slow and you may not get as much requests as you think you may, as you think you may get. And there could be other Uber Eat delivery drivers in your area fighting for that request from that customer for little to, to no tips, okay? But the way Uber Eats works is that, depending on how much the customer spends, they have no choice but to tip as much as they can. So it's, it's fair for the delivery driver that's picking up the customer's food to at least get a pay involved, okay? From my point of view, driving for Uber Eats for about five to six hours, uh, I roughly made between 60 to 70 bucks. Okay. 60 to 70 bucks. That's including tips. Okay. Now imagine doing it on the weekend because there are, there are many occasions where on the weekends, a lot of people don't, doesn't want to go out. They don't want to shop. So most people, most of the time is going to order off of Uber East. DoorDash is another competitor. <coughs> And uh, that's that's Uber Eats uh, other rivalry, DoorDash, from my understanding. But driving and delivering for Uber Eats, uh, I really didn't have that much issues. There was one occasion and one mistake that I made was when I picked up for a customer for an order. Not really looking too much into the miles and the distance that I'll be traveling, right? 
I picked up for an uh, for a customer from from the area that I'm living in, okay. And come to find out that the customer is about 20, 30 minutes away. And on top of that, the customer lives in an apartment complex. So it, I not only did I wasted gas, I wasted my time looking for the customer's uh, uh, apartment, having to call them, having to text them, notify them, ask them where they live. It wasted my time and I only got paid about five, six bucks. You do not want to make so, make those type of mistakes, okay? You're wasting time. Time is of the essence. I've learned as an Uber delivery driver, it is better to accept requests that doesn't take up too much mileage and it's near your area and it's minutes apart, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum from the restaurant to the customer, from the restaurant to the customer. 20 minutes max, depending on how much I'm getting paid from that delivery. And what Uber normally tries to do is try to hide an extra customer whenever you get an order, right? Say if you get a request that there's a delivery that's worth 12, 13 bucks for a certain uh, miles. It could be 13 uh, miles. So that's about $1.50 that you're getting paid per mile, right? They may hide another customer from the same restaurant that you're going to. That's a good thing because you're getting double pay. So you have a higher chance of getting paid uh, uh, tips because the estimate that they also give you is very accurate because, like I said, Uber automatically forces customers to have no choice but to tip as a little of up to 15% of their income from the order that they made to 100% tips. I believe that's how it works because I've ordered from Uber Eats before as my um, myself as well. And I could tell you from experience, okay? Another thing that works for me driving for Uber Eats, I like to deliver at night. I love to go to the restaurants at night, pick up the customer's orders, deliver to them at night because at night, most of the time, you're going to do with less traffic, less traffic jam, less people's going to be out. You don't have to deal with angry customer, uh, uh, um, angry customers trying to rush you. You're stuck in traffic. You don't have to deal with the orders being delayed. You don't got to deal with uh, none of that. Time is of, the, is of the essence. What I recommend, if anyone, if any one of you decides to do Uber Eats, or any of you are even doing Uber Eats, if it's during the day, I don't know anyone's, everyone's living situation. I recommend doing it in the evening or at night, depending on where you live. Where I live is pretty busy, especially on, on certain, certain hours. So I prefer to start doing my deliveries between eight. I, I start, I like to prefer doing my deliveries between 8 p.m at night till two in the morning because mo- that's when 2 a.m. is when most restaurants are closed and they're no longer accepting any Uber order requests or DoorDash requests for customers to, to get their orders delivered, okay? Yeah, I do not recommend doing Uber Eats during the times where you're gonna be stuck in traffic, especially during the day, early in the morning rush hours, you're gonna deal with more competition during the day because most people in general does not like to work at night. This is where a lot of people should come in. You also have to check out the Uber Eats promotions. There's a promotion going on right now, from my understanding since I first started. And in your first 30 days of Uber Eats, after, after being a new member of Uber Eats, right? And driving for them. You get paid $675 if you complete 75 deliveries in 30 days. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I don't know how the promotions is like. I don't know if this counts for other areas, but this is one of the messages that I receive. Take advantage of all the promotions. At least one good thing that Uber, Uber Eats is good for is promoting to you to make more money, letting you know the forecast of the best times 
to go out to deliver to customers. Uber Eats is like a, a part-time side job. Whenever you're stuck, you don't have any money, you could go out and just do Uber Eats. Pick up the customer's order, drop off to the customer. Pick up the customer's order, drop off to the customer. And do it by short distancing. Do not drive long hours. Do not drive far distance. I do not recommend it. Did that once as a mistake, and I realize and see why a lot of Uber Eats the the uh, Uber Eat delivery drivers avoid that like the plague. You do not get much out of it, and you're not guaranteed what you think you're gonna get paid. Trust me. You're not gonna automatically get paid one dollar fifty cents per hour. They tell you how much you could get paid. They tell you the tip that the customer put on towards their order. You don't know what you what other tips you could get after you deliver the customer's order. It's all on how the customer feels about you, your customer service, your timing, and a lot of the custom. A lot of the times, customers is not even obligated to tip you. I've done my research online where there's a lot of self entitled Uber Eat. And, uh, and DoorDash drivers where they feel like, woe is me, times are hard, oh, the, the price of gases is going up. Okay, but you chose to do this job. You chose to, to drive for Uber Eats. Depending on the city that you live in or if you live in a major city or a busy town, you have options to deliver on foot, deliver by bike or motorbike, or what I prefer, deliver by car. I have a car. I, 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 I prefer to deliver on car because it's a lot easier for me, it's more convenient, and I feel more safe for doing so. I feel more safe. I feel more safe doing so because I could be in my car in my own comfort, especially when it's raining hard, there's a storm. This is where you could take the advantage of other Uber Eat uh, uh, delivery drivers who does bikes, who goes by foot. I don't know anybody's, everyone's situation, okay? I don't know. It just depends on the area and the city that you live in. But preferably, preferably what I would recommend for every Uber Eats delivery driver, drive by car if you have your own car. Another thing you don't got to worry about delivering for Uber Eats, you don't have to worry about Uber rides. You don't have to worry about customers in your face talking to you, COVID, having diseases, uh, invading your car, invading your space, sitting, sitting where, where they want, asking so much for so many questions. For me, I'm more of a, a ambivert and introvert. I like to talk to people on my own time. And when it's time for me to do Uber Eats, I, I, I prefer to be alone, be by myself. I prefer to just pick up the order in peace, drop off the order, take the photo, let the person know, hey, I drop off your food in front of the door. Have a good day. Okay, there's tutorials on Uber Eats that lets you know how everything works. I had had to figure this out on my own. After even viewing tutorials online, I made, uh, I did a first test ride. I got the hang of Uber Eats and I realized what was the best time for me to deliver, especially depending on the area that I live in. Because where I live at, the best times for me to deliver is at night during the evening, during dinner time, the dinner rush hours, especially on the weekends. Because most of the time on the weekends, people are off from work. This is where you can make the most money doing Uber Eats. Okay? I don't know how the case is for DoorDash delivery drivers. I don't know. But from my experience, being an Uber Eats delivery driver, I made the most money during the weekends, okay? You can make the most money during the weekends, okay? Especially if you put in the hours of time and the work. I would recommend Uber Eats as a side job because the cons of it as well, having a vehicle, you're burning up your own car's gas. Uh, you're 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 burning you're burning up a lot of the uh, the fuel on your car. Uh, you're wearing out and tearing out your car as well. One one great thing about Uber Eats, which is a major blessing and a major bonus and a plus, is that you have optional insurance where you could be covered 
on any damages or any accidents that you go through while delivering for Uber Eats. So that's one great thing about them. They want to protect their behind, protect their workers, and make sure that you're working for them like a pro. And at the same time, you are your own boss. Yes, you are your own boss. So the money that you make is all on you. Whenever you want to stop doing deliveries is all on you. Whenever you want to start is all on you. It's all on your area. It's all on where you want to go. Because there's cases, if you look on the Uber Eats delivery app, where there are arrows, they're called surge arrows. They show you the areas that is taking the most requests, where customers is, 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 uh, is ordering from the most. Like, for example... McDonald's may be trending. On the Uber Eats delivery app, it may show a surge arrow to let you know that it's very busy in the McDonald's area. You go to the McDonald's area, you're more than likely to get many requests from customers to pick up their deliveries from, from McDonald's as an Uber Eats delivery driver, okay? You have to go where the surges are. You have to do everything at the right exact time. For, for, my, for my own preference, it is a lot better to do deliveries at, in the evening, throughout the night, until the morning, okay? This is my preference, and this works for me. This is my pros and cons and experience for driving for Ubi's deliveries. If you have any other questions, guys, feel free to comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think. Casual talk here. Peace out. God bless.